what is the one food you can have every single day like the one food you you can't live without mine is chicken wings i can have chicken wings every single day you can have them cooked differently you can have a bunch of different flavors you can have them with stuff it's amazing i love chicken wings i love chicken wings so much that a couple years ago i co-produced a web series called wingman where all we do is eat wings back in 2010 i was sitting in my kitchen with my brother and our friend watching the food network we were watching man versus food you know the show where the guy just eats food and we were saying how lucky he was eating food and loves doing his job it's crazy and we're like damn he probably gets to eat for free nothing will ever beat eating food for free like nothing light bulb it was like we did that slow turn to each other because we knew what we could do our main goal was to literally eat wings for free by using our video skills i googled wing spots in toronto boom found one called in pretended i was an actual video producer looking to create a show on chicken wings and bam one week later we were shooting and eating chicken wings for free for our first video we had graphics done our first guest and even had a game in our show after every episode we began to pick up the production lining up special guests for each episode getting t-shirts made better props for the show make it more interesting and at the end of every episode we even did reviews on the wing for every wing spot i did a segment called on deck with tech where i talk about the feng shui of the place it's very dim it's nice it's good mood lighting so if you have any ugly friends it's probably best to bring them here when you guys want to eat so you don't have to look at them we would actually ask a little bit more and more from wing spots after every episode i was like hey can we get you know maybe two pounds each can we get free beer can we get uh appetizers hey i see this beef brisket on the menu what does that taste like i know it's not wings but what does it taste like mm -hmm. every episode had to serve two purposes we get free food and we make eating wings look so cool that you would want to fly with the wingman every episode would get better we had more crew added more games and challenges we covered places that had hundreds of flavors of wings smoke wings baked wings hot wings all different types of wings after we wrapped our first season, someone on the PR team at Buffalo Wild Wings caught wind and sent us an email. Hey guys, Buffalo Wild Wings is opening its closest GTA location in Mississauga on Monday and we were wondering if you would want to come out and try the wings. The opening starts at 9.45 with a ribbon cutting ceremony. The doors officially open at 11 a.m. So we are happy to have you guys show up whenever it best fits into your schedule. We will have the regional manager of the Canadian operations on hand, as well as the head of Buffalo Wild Wings International team. I'm excited for you guys to come in and happy to work with you in any way to help create a fun episode or review. Let me know if you're interested and I can send you any info you need. That's seven episodes in. So after shooting that episode, we actually got free wings for a year. The whole team got free chicken wings for a year. And that was, you know, the first episode of season two, which is, it was the eighth episode overall. By that time, we, we got free wings for a year. That was also the last episode we've ever shot. And we sent it to Buffalo Wild Wings. They loved it, they enjoyed it. I don't know if they actually put it out there, but we never put it out so no one other than their team and our team have seen the episode until now enjoy Ready? welcome everybody to another season of the wingman this season we're going to kick it off there's no mystery to what these fellas do they find talk and eat wings you make wings you're damn proud of them They'll find you. They'll <laughs> find them all. I missed that slate. Really? Slate, slate the camera. <laughs> this guy's like, okay, ready? Yes. You're good. Welcome everybody to another episode of The Wingman. Hannibal on deck and I'm sitting inside Buffalo Wild Wings located at 3050 Argentia, Mississauga. I hear the wings are so spicy, it'll make you want your mom's breast milk. Tonight's regulars are Gavin, lightweight Sang, Kevin, the architect Xconde, Patrick, heavyweight Xconde, and today who's trying the spicy wing challenge, the blazing challenge here at Buffalo Wild Wings, Mike, the prophet Reed. So let's go do this, because I definitely want some beers, wings, and sports. Tagway's 
So I'm here with Robert, who is the regional manager of Buffalo Wild Wings. Let us know what the standard here is at Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, first of all, as you probably are aware, we've just opened our fourth location here at Metal Oil, Mississauga. Uh, the standard is fresh wings, fresh beer, and great sports. Just want to make sure everybody coming through that door has that wow factor. That wow factor is huge. You walk in, you see those TVs, you see the fact that we have 20 beers on tap. We have a lot of craft beers, those types of things. It's about the beer experience. We have a nucleated glass, as you see, and what it does is allow the beer to continue to circulate, carbonation, that kind of stuff. And it's also a 23 ounce vessel. Most everybody else is going down in size and we're going up. More beer. More beer, more, more wings. The experience here also lends its hands to having these play ports that are dropped on the tables or you can go and pick them up. Explain that a little bit. You got a portable video game, bring to the table, kids are entertained. I've seen adults play it more than the kids do. 25 cents, just like old school arcade, right there in front of you. Super sprint wheel where I can spin that, it. <laughs> there it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> well this, I love. This is our iPad 2s. We have more or less our whole entire menu infused onto iPad 2s. So people come in, for example, they want to have a beer, Hit drinks, I hit beers, all of a sudden I got 20 different beers right in front of them. <laughs> Everything's on demand here. We want you to feel if you can't get to the game, you're coming to Buffalo Wild Wings. Now to get into why we're here, the wings, how many flavors do you guys have here? We have 15 flavors, yep. four dry rubs as well. First and foremost, we use nothing but fresh wings. That fresh wing is all Canadian. You can tell the difference when you eat a fresh wing versus a uh, frozen wing. Yeah, homegrown chicken. Right. So one thing unique about uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is you guys have boneless and traditional. Like going to the supermarket, I can get the breast in the book. <laughs> <laughs> you actually have two nights, not just the one that has wing nights. Tuesday for our traditional Tuesday, all of our bone-in wings. We got our boneless Thursday, which is the same thing, but with our boneless pieces. We have an increments of five, 10, 20, uh, so that you can have a number of variety of different sauces. Now with all the sauces <laughs> that you guys do have, you guys have a glazing sauce, yeah. I believe it is, and you guys have oh, yeah. a glazing challenge. Talk a little bit about that. Ooh, the blazing challenge, just thinking about it, just uh, so fires chills. me up here. Oh, it's a little bit scary when you see some of the people that have actually uh, have done it. It's 10 wings, no water, no napkins, nothing. And, you know, it's got to be out in five minutes, you get a t-shirt. What's the, the most popular flavor? Uh, honey garlic is our number one. And then we just piloted this new kicking honey garlic, yeah. which is a little bit of a zip to it. Are we doing two cameras? Okay, yeah, I want to. Good. So I'm here with Jesse in the back in the kitchen at Buffalo Wild Wings. Let us know about exactly what you do back here. Basically what I do is uh, wings pop up on the screen. I take the wings and I dump them inside the deep fryer and I put it down for... And once they're all done, I uh, put them in a bucket, give it to the shakers. You're handing it off to them. Yes. Part one of the process, and then we got part two, right? Yes, yes. You guys also have something unique back here, too. I guess it's a, a motivation thing, something to hype up everybody. What exactly happens? What's the whole, what's the process? They call it, like, wings. Like, uh, and if we hear like, that amount, like, that's called, we usually, like, like yell out her. That way, like, there's good communication between us. Let's actually go through it. Ten wings walking in! Hey! There you go. <laughs> what the hell was the question? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I haven't eaten all day, so technically this is the first meal of the day, and I hope it's going to be meat. Game over right away. <laughs> Break the Iron Man streak. Ah, nice. Maybe I should just go in order. It's gonna go in order. When you blow up, it'll show up in your lunch tags, but you'll be bankrupt because you flunk mad, thinking fire burning was a higher learning. Pick your old back, quiet all that violent rubbish. See, I'm an English major, I don't get the science, cousin. I'm...
Blaze and Challenge, just thinking about it, just, uh, it's a little bit scary when you see some of the people that have actually uh, have done it. And afterwards I thought my lips were blistering. I'm gonna have a lift. I downed three cups of ice after. Half an hour later I started to go back to normal. Right now I think we're at 36 seconds or 35 seconds, 10 wings. That's the fastest time. That's the fastest Ooh. time. With season two of the Wingman comes the spicy challenge. Every restaurant we go to, we're gonna try the hottest sauce, 10 wings, five minutes, no napkins, no milk, nothing. Eat the wings, you get a free Wingman t-shirt. Today I'm lucky enough that Buffalo Wild Wings has their own challenge, the Blazing Challenge. Today, Mike the Prophet Reed will be trying the Blazing Challenge. If he wins, he picks up a Buffalo Wild Wings t-shirt and gets put up on the Wall of Fame. Mike, good luck. I tried the sauce and I my pants. You got five minutes or less. If you do it beforehand, you're good to go. It's all pride thing right now. So as soon as you're ready to take the first bite, I'll start the clock. So the timer's begun, got five minutes or less. Everybody's confident in the first couple wings. It's when you get down to four or five. Exactly how we want to see the bone right there. That's how clean we want to see it. I'm just approaching one minute now. And he's got two wings down, so he's way behind schedule right now. A minute and a half and three wings down. So that be... up your we are now officially halfway through the competition. Looks like he's actually trying to enjoy it right now. He's not actually doing it for speed. He actually enjoys the weight. So we're at the last minute of play in this third period right now. Four minute mark. There you go. 30 seconds left. Okay, the official time for profit is four minutes, 34 seconds. This place is amazing. Uh, as soon as you come in here, everyone greets you. It's like family. It's like family here. There's TVs on, the music is up, and you're just captivated. The people here are amazing, the food's amazing. Uh, it's an incredible experience. We had several different flavors. Um, Dan, what were the flavors again? I tried the honey garlic because I'm a huge honey garlic fan and it actually tastes like honey and garlic. The honey garlic, and I kid you not, is probably the best honey garlic I've ever had. You got me? You got me? Yeah. This one? The flavor that I like today was um, buffalo. I'm a big fan of the dry rub. This is probably one of the best dry rub flavors that I've had. I'm not a fan of, of uh, spicy, but all right, I'm trying to do my trying to do my interview right there. <laughs> the kicking honey garlic was probably one of the best I've ever had. Parmesan garlic was actually really good too. All other places kind of have the Parmesan on top. This was kind of mixed in with the sauce, which was actually really, really good. Buffalo Wild Wings, shoo! Five out of five, man. It's a great place to be. Tell us how the salad works. I'm sure it would have been better. I got to well, it looks like Buffalo Wild Wings is a wrap, but let me tell you something. Although small, these things are packed with sauce. 15 sauces get down here, and just in case you really like the sauce, they will be available in Canada really soon. Check out our website. We always got new shit. Any type of feedback, wingmento at gmail.com. And I guess there's nothing else to be said, you know? It's a wrap. You heard? <laughs> nice. Got a lot of papers, guy. You don't want to be that guy. No, it's soggy. It's soggy now. <laughs> Why, God? Why with the rain? So, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Even if it's, I want wings for free. That's it. You could do, you could do it. If you have, you know, the right motivation and the right team behind you, uh, you, could, you could literally do anything you fucking want. It's crazy. Within... Eight episodes, we had free wings for a year, and that was, you know, that was a goal. Uh, we stopped for other reasons. It wasn't just because, we, you know, we got free wings and we're like, wicked, peace. We, we got free wings, people had stuff to do, um, but we did it. And we ended off on such a high note. I just want to share with you guys that portion of my life, creating a web series called Wingmen and getting free wings, because there ain't nothing like getting free food.
if you guys want to see the rest of the episodes and see the progress of how you know it evolved over the eight episodes then you guys can check out wingman to i'll link it down in the description if you guys want to see we did all these types of different things on there but you guys watch all the episodes here our guests so if you guys had an option to create a food show based on whatever food you like what would it be comment down below let me know what your favorite food is or what food show you would create and uh until next time peace that was really close i felt really close to that camera <laughs>